Hello and welcome to solve for the solution to my uh, four color problem. I told you in April 1975 Martin Gardner gave this problem. It was the 1st of April 1975. Yes, that was for April's Fools. So it is possible to color it. There are many ways to do it. And I'm going to show you my way to remember how to color it. Then uh, you can show it to your friends. If you don't want my explanation, of course, you can just skip to the end and watch the full shape colored. There are two ideas in there. The first one is that the top color will be used as less as possible. This is yellow here. And then you continue with the other colors uh, with a sequence. Blue, green, red. And then you continue with blue, and then green, and then red. And again, blue, green, red, blue, and green. Then you're going to go down by columns like this to uh, reproduce the same pattern in the other lines. So first the green, then of course the blue. And this and finally the red let me find it okay red 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 by columns now if you check this white on the top here there is blue green and yellow so this one has to be red and since we don't want to use the yellow the next one will have to be green and you continue like this with our sequence blue red and green and blue and red and green and blue and of course you go down by columns the same as before so you finish to fill up the blue, the green. Here you can put the green and you'll put it. At the center you don't have to actually. We will eventually but you don't have to. You can put in almost anything you want. Well not exactly anything you want but it doesn't matter. Then you have blue, red and yellow here so you will, you will have to put a green and of course you continue with red here because there's no other choice without using the yellow and you continue your sequence like that like here here and finally one red and you continue on the other side with the same idea which is red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. And then you will fill up the columns, but you'll have to be careful there. I'll show you why. So we start with the um, the blue here, here, and of course here also, and you go down there, here, here, but not there because of course we already have a blue just down here, down there, so we continue here, and we let that square white. We continue with the red, same thing, and we won't have any problem with the red, down here, and here too. That's the turn. Oh yeah, there's another red right here, and it's the turn for the green. And here also, you let it blank because eh, you can't put another green here. And finally, you're done. And all those, uh, the center, you can put it green, and all what is remaining, you will put it yellow. And you are done with filling this shape 
of course if you want the center to be yellow you can and also you can put yellow here and there because since the, it's the color you use the least you don't have many risk of conflict you can do like this I like, like to let it like that because uh, I find it much more pleasing to my eyes so everything's colored with four colors only and no areas with the same color are touching I hope you enjoyed this problem and uh, see you next time for next problem bye bye